indeed a cold start to our morning and stayed that way throughout the afternoon, but that did, did that did not stop people from heading to Niles to fully embrace the ice. Amelia Lee is in Niles with this report. What a great day for ice. That's from the Hunter Ice Festival Facebook page as they encourage you to bundle up and come on out to see some ice sculptures in downtown Niles. What better to look at ice when it's, you know, negative 24 out? Yeah. It's the 20th anniversary for the ice festival. This year happening in the midst of a winter storm. But that didn't stop folks from coming out to downtown Niles. We're local, so we try to come every year. But like I said, usually they're already half melted or not around. If you're like the Gerntz, you may think it's a bit cold. Uh, well, we thought that since the sun was out, it was going to be at least a little warm. Um, that didn't really work out the way we anticipated. Paisley's all for it. Would you say that this is the perfect weather to look at ice sculptures? Yes, I feel like it would. And the Marses are used to this Michigan weather. Well, especially because it's such a sunny, beautiful day. Yeah. Like I said, if the wind would die down a little bit, it would be great. It seems worth it to see the ice. It's pretty cool, like, seeing all the ice sculptures and stuff, even though it's freezing. If you did decide to come on down to the ice festival, you may have seen some of these iconic sculptures. Uh, there's a fish down on the <laughs> corner. I think that one was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. They had a really cool chair one time that you could get up and sit in, and that was probably my favorite. Um, probably the shoe over there. The shoe, definitely. Here are some final words of advice for those heading out. Uh, bundle up, because it's a lot colder <laughs> than we expect. Okay, we knew better, but <laughs> bundle up. <laughs> Reporting in Niles, I'm Amelia Lee, 16 News Now.